Oh, wash off speed, unload. Yeah, I think the biggest issue most people have when they're learning to ride adventure bikes is falling over when they're slowing down to a stop or turning around. And you just got to remember that a bike of any size, whether it's a 125, a Harley, you name it, the heaviest bikes are actually weightless when they're bolt upright. I have one finger on the handlebar holding up this 200 plus kilo bike. It's really nothing. Yep, so you've realized you've gone the wrong way. Whoops, <laughs> gotta turn around. If there's a slight slope, turn into the slope. Full lock the other way. I'm completely vertical, so the bike's weightless. And out of here. You know, like, it's not that hard. Okay, the next big issue I see people having is braking locking the front and losing it because they panic when something comes out of the blue. Here's a little technique you can practice just to get your reactive skills. You basically want to become the ABS, right? So switch your ABS off. Just grab first gear, keep your feet out just so you can stay balanced and just go along in first gear and grab the front brake until it locks. See, I'm I'm skidding on the front brake, as you can see, and I'm learning to release. Just go along, front brake. What that does, it'll train your brain to let go of the brake when the front wheel locks. You need that to become instinctive when you ride. Your brain needs to become the ABS when you're off-road. Try it now with your feet up. Have the confidence. Tuck the front. Feel that front losing it and release. Release just before it goes bad. See what I mean? Become the ABS. As you get confident with it, stand up, bend the knees, same thing. This is going to feel heaps scarier because you're standing. But you need to bed that in. Okay, now I don't have witch's hat, so I'm just going to use some chain loop cans. And this is probably the most important drill you're going to do if your first taste of off-road is with an adventure bike. And when I say that, I'm talking to all the people that have lived a life of motorcycling on the road and all your base skills are from the tarmac uh, and everything you've ever probably learned about riding a motorcycle has happened on the tarmac and to be honest it's those street traits and habits that are getting people into the most trouble off-road and when I say that I'm referring to cornering and how they sit on the bike, how they weight the bike when they turn. Now this whole leaning into the corner thing, it's not gonna work for you off-road. You simply can't rely on the tires to grip the dirt like you can on the street. You have to use the weight of the bike to maintain the traction and offset your body weight to gauge that. Where there's no traction, you really have to offset your body weight. I'm gonna show you what I mean now. If I'm a beginner trying to go through a basic little drill like this and I'm leaning into the turns, sooner or later, I'm gonna lose the front end. Okay, because I'm tipping the bike and I'm leaning with it. That's not going to work for you off-road. The trick to off-road, keeping myself completely vertical and tipping the bike. I'm exaggerating it for you, but you get the gist. Even sitting. Tip the bike. Elbow up, elbow up, elbow up. As this becomes more instinctive, you can actually get more aggressive. As it becomes more instinctive, you get more aggressive and it just becomes the way you ride. The purpose of this technique is to always keep the bike in traction. See how even if it lets go on me, 
because I'm tipping the bike between my legs and keeping my mass upright the bike's not inclined to just slip out from under me does that make sense watch again you know this technique won't cost you a thing just get five items find a quiet little place to practice and my god it will change your whole adventure bike game okay the next most important aspect of off-road is dealing with obstacles and the majority of that all comes down to body position and not freaking out what I'm gonna do here is just demonstrate the actual stability of the bike if I put myself in the right position assume the correct riding position I can literally let the bike do all the work right I'm just gonna stand up bent knees bent arms and do nothing else and just ride into this thing see that I'll show you the other way I'm doing absolutely nothing but just riding into it I didn't even look at it I'm looking ahead you with me the whole point of standing up is to remove your mass from the bike and let its suspension have the best effect again I did nothing I'm doing nothing central to the bike bent legs bent arms I might as well just be a clip-on toy I have you expired no energy all I've done is assume the correct position now I want to show you how to deal with that in a panic situation and by panic I mean surprise when it just comes out in front of you and you're like oh sh okay ABS off right so in a panic situation you're going fairly quick the one thing you must never do is hit an obstacle under brakes wash off all the speed unload hit it if you hit an obstacle under brakes you're hitting it with less than half of your suspension travel and increasing the chances of coming off let me show you that one more time with some mega speed well wash off speed unload okay you see I'm out of the seat you see the back end kick up if I was seated that at that speed that could have potentially kicked me over the bars but by simply getting into the right position standing bent legs bent arms braking right to the point of impact unloading you want a full load of suspension boom that bike just this bike just took that like it was um, a twig which it kind of is a twig if this is wet you do not want to hit it with the front wheel even square just pop the front over don't give that log a chance to skew your front wheel out of the way right let's just change the game a bit and put it at 45 that's more than 45 that's that's fairly aggressive anyway if you've got the time to slow down you don't even have to hit it at 45 square it up and ride into it now if you're not in a position to square it up you have to get the front wheel over it pop and the rear wheel will just follow again little preload piece of cake okay this is a lot more advanced now and I, I wouldn't be trying this unless you're competent or you've got a little dirt bike to practice on that was a bit of fun everyone thanks for watching I hope you learned something out of that it's basically to try and help you ride your adventure bike safely or any motorcycle safely for that reason off-road um, and that's the biggest thing take your time with your bike ride it without any luggage um, get these drills done just try them find your own space some people don't like to operate in a schooled environment with other people oh, I'm gonna screw up in front of someone else just find your own little look I got I got like a 50 meter uh, stretch of dirt that's it and um, 
just practice a couple of slow drills it will change your off-road game one i guarantee it you will uh, pick your way through these drills very slowly understand it understand your bike and i th i think you'll get a lot out of it um if you've got pe if you if you have friends that could benefit from what i've just shown you share the video with them like it uh, comment let me know how you're going with it you uh these big bikes are more capable than they get a lot of credit for and they're not as intimidating as you might think once you know how to ride them and sit on them and balance them and and all the rest yep subscribe button all that business some yeah everybody's asking about the war horse settle down it's coming i'm i'm waiting for it too i miss the old girl but um in the meantime having fun on the the t7 such a sick bike and um yeah see you soon